Steve Spurrier is a sideline legend in the making. Two coaches whose mutual respect is topped only by their on-field success. Two schools that haven't met in 35 years. And two programs that shared the top spot in the polls when the season began and between them held it for 18 weeks. The convention level of the hotel when all the meetings were going on and it was like Joe Paterno at 71 years old was <laughs> the lead dog with a sled of guys behind him. He really was, wasn't he? We're set for Penn State and Florida. And the kick going deep in the end zone and out of the end zone. So Florida will work from its own 20-yard line to start things off. Set. And Aaron Kitty now over on the wing as the tight end. And on first down, it's Taylor. And he's got a nice opening off the right side and goes the Nittany Lions up front. Matt Fornattle's the smallest, but he's also the leader with Fleischauer, Kerpakis, and Courtney Brown. The linebacking core, Jim Nelson and Aaron Collins make their 37th straight start together. Brandon Short, the other backer. And in the secondary, a change today in Derek Fox starting at the free safety spot with Macklin, Lee, and Prater. And on second down, and Short, and quickly up the middle, and a first down at the line from the 35. Gives it off to Taylor. Got a gaping hole on the left side. And Fred Taylor's got a dozen more. Oh, comedian, but he had a great line. He said, I was player of the year, or coach of the year in Michigan this season. Here's Taylor again, all the way down to the 40 yard line. Play action. And the first throw of the day is a strike down the middle and complete down to the 21 yard line. He's up here in the first three minutes of the ball game. Johnson to throw, fires out a dangerous pass to pop by the tight end, and he's got it from the five. Taylor inside, spins. Did he get there? He's very close. And Brindai straight ahead, quarterback sneak touchdown. The basics got to Penn State, as Gary so aptly pointed out in that opening march, and they take it 80 yards for a touchdown. The kick, Kenny Watson and Chris Everly are back for Penn State. And a little indecision, but Everly camps under it. At about the three and goes straight up the middle and gives Penn State nice field for that is here with Curtis Enos having been suspended. So he's a first teamer. Shafi Fields now has to pick up the slack with Juravicious out. He's dangerous on end of rounds as well. McCreary, the quarterback, Everly, Anthony Cleary in the backfield. They'll rotate tailbacks throughout the day today. First down, Penn State from its own 32 yard line. And to give to the 35-yard line is 4-7 Penn State. McQuarrie loads it and goes to Scioli had his hands on it, but dropped it. Came straight out of Fran Gander, the offensive coordinator's mouth, though. That's what he called it. Let's see if they can come up with it up for a first down here, and they do. Complete out near the 45. Take advantage of it. They have to. Second down and nine. Here's a counter. Mitchell dancing around in the back to look exactly what Gary was talking about. Tremendous penetration by that front group of Florida. McCreary has to roll and throw on the run. And it is intercepted. Picked off on the corner by Fred Weary. And Weary across the field looking for a block. And he's got it back to the 35-yard line, his seventh interception of the season. Weary was an All-American this year. Johnson now to Jack Wes Green. And he got it. Touchdown. Five yards just like that. McQuarrie, quick drop, throws high, intended for Shoffee Fields on the far side and incomplete. And he'll be asked to throw again on third and 11 screen pass. And out to the 32 yard line is Cordell. Mid plays two touchdowns. They work for their own 27 yard line. Taylor. They got about a yard that time. LeVar Arrington ran him down. Here's five receivers. Johnson throws a screen out to the wideout. Mole Carroll. From the hip, nothing fancy. Third down and eight. Johnson has time. Buzzy Green on his hands up. Got a four minutes left in the first quarter. And they give it on a handoff to Ross, the tight end. And Tara State, obviously, a high point of their regular season. That is a nine and two year. And when you're defending Green in motion, and they go straight ahead with Taylor's again. They make the end around. Taylor broke a tackle. He's got a first down and a tough run. It's a pop. Their first down here will be nine more at least. How about 11? Back in the Fiesta Bowl. 
Now Rod said, I'm going to block for this guy. Johnson back to throw and going deep. And there, oh just overshot Jacquez Green. Oh, my. Who has he got some burners up? set now for the Gators. Here comes a blitz. There's the flea flicker. This time they do run it. Rindice down the middle and complete to the 20-yard line of the so far. It's the ninth play of the Florida drive. It's Taylor. And they only got about a yard. Third nice down and nine for Florida. Johnson loads and goes incomplete and Green took a big shot from Macklin after he got his hands on it. They're all American. Is that amazing on fourth down? They're going to blitz Brindice. It's picked up and he throws and it's intercepted. Picked up by Nelson, the linebacker. And Jim Nelson, the senior out across the 21 yard line for Penn State. So they come up with a turnover and maybe Florida got a little very well that time. Tried to stick it in on a four man seam. He was late with the ball. If he didn't, if, if Skinner could have, it was who he was going to throw to, if he didn't intercept it, I think Prater would have intercepted it by Nelson. So a late throw, probably not a very good call in that position by Steve. I hope he doesn't hear that, but I don't think it was a very good call when you have your two best players in pass offense not on the field. They gave up, and so Penn State takes over. Courtesy of Jim Nelson, the linebacker. Everly trying to spin away and can't. He go up with another three and out. For their opponents, that's a phenomenal statistic. McQuarrie throws on the run. They will not get the first down, I don't think. That's going to be close. That was a pretty nice toss. Jonas Stassi held it. No matter and how good you are, that starts to wear you down. Absolutely. On first down for the 37. Here's a counter to Carroll. Three weeks after he won the Heisman Trophy. And here goes Carroll again. First down at the 49. Here's a counter, and this time Penn State closes the door in right there right now at quarterback on second down and 14. Play action. Down the middle, and he overthrew, and it's intercepted by Sean Lee. Sean Lee going the other way for Penn State, and he's all the way down to the 30-yard line. That one had too much on it. Over Coming from the right side of your screen, Daryl Jackson, number nine, one of the two true freshmen, stumbles on the play. That's the reason why the ball was overthrown. Jackson's going to come out, watch him, blows a tire on the play. The ball just sails right by him. The interception was called, was caused by one of the young freshmen, one of the three-yard return, and it's first down, Penn State. They'll blitz McQuarrie. He throws complete, and down to a first down. At the 20-yard line is Concho Brown, the tight end. The football just shaded inside the Florida 20. Everly spins, cuts outside. Now he's got himself some room. Inside the 10, he's got it first and goal, Penn State. There's nothing on the back of his jersey, but this time he makes a Kurt Edis type run. This time he runs right through Mike Peterson's tackle, spins out, and makes one of those plays that someone has to step up and make for this Penn State team. Chris Everly, you know, he kind of got lost in Kurt Edis' shadow, but Brad, we saw him in 1996. When against Indiana, he ran for 110 yards. Penn State, those what they've done in the red zone from just outside the seven. Everly's hit in the backfield. He's going to McQuarrie, the lone wide receiver. He's kind of grew to the top of your screen. They're going to throw the fade out there, and it's incomplete. McQuarrie. Look out. Mike's all the way back at the 25. Oh, they track him down. He'll try one from 42 yards out to put Penn State on the board, and... He got it. Oh, Travis just bailed out McQuarrie. Yes, he did. <laughs> nice kick. And the Nittany Lions are on the board, not the way they had hoped, but trailing 14 to 3. Here's Taylor. Red cuts to the left side and got about six. He said Eric Rett, and I did find that to be pretty amazing considering some of the great backs the SEC has had. I think he takes five. And four wideouts from the shotgun. Rindice throws short to Taylor. Let's see if they can outrun the defense. Not this time. Nice punt. Penn State, sort of a prevent look here. They don't bring a rush, and they don't have a lot of guys back. Maybe they know something about Stevenson's kicking today. That's a second bad punt, and it's taken. Pettigrew, the motion man. McQuarrie wanted a handoff to somebody. Broken play, a loss of a couple, and Joe Paterno up the Nittany Lions with the ball back in. A little over seven minutes remaining in the quarter. Play action, McQuarrie getting rushed again, and down he goes again. Second sack, this one's Willie Cohen's. The ball came loose at the end of the play. And it will be second down. 
Doug Johnson's missed his last six passes. Here's Taylor on a counter, and Fred Taylor goes out, dives across the carry by Taylor, put him over 100 yards on the day. Blitz coming and a hit on Johnson. Perfectly timed, the ball still loose. Penn State trying to find the handle. Who got it? Way back at the seven-yard line, the Lions say they have it, and they do. Penn State recovers. That's as finally a Penn State. Brandon Short should get the phoned up fumble recovery because he's the guy who timed it. He beat the running back there that time to cause the fumble, and then everyone tries to scoop it up, and who ends up getting it? Brandon Short. You can see Short hits that A gap. It's a gap that Florida has trouble stopping a lot in their offense, and this time, when you get back up, good things happen, and Brandon Short. McQuarrie rolls, wants to throw back to the near corner to Schioli, and he overshot the tight end. Javon Kerr stayed at home. The tailback. Cuncho Brown on the tight end in motion as McQuarrie drops to throw over the middle. Tipped. Almost intercepted. They're going to motion. Third down and goal, Penn State. Play action, McQuarrie throws. This time he does rifle it. Cuncho Brown made the catch, but he's about a yard. Schioli, the tight end on a wing left. And Florida jumps. Fourth and goal. Schioli in motion. McQuarrie to Everly. Hit in the backfield. And I don't think he got there. He didn't. Taylor hit in the end zone and breaks free. And Taylor out near the 10-yard line. Mark in the first half. Here's the toss to it. And Taylor again. Possibly changes things up, it appears, at the line. Penn State shows blitz, and they will come with it. Hand off. Taylor straight up the middle. Fred Taylor across the 30. And out to the 38-yard line. First Owen. time the visor On has the off, been tossed to the field the today. 10-yard penalty. We'll throw it back to you as Johnson drops the throw. Throws it out to him on a screen. And Collins. And they'll keep it on the ground to carry He's dropped at the 10-yard line. And Aaron Collins makes back-to-back -back hits. This time he got a good kick, though. Watson has to go way back to the 42-yard line. And now Watson brings it straight ahead. He keeps his footing inside the 40. He might take it. Kenny Watson all the way down to the 6-yard line. <laughs> he be in the worst putt of the day. Watson takes it, stumbles as he goes one way right there, and as he comes back, just keeps his feet. And had he known Javon Curse is behind him right here, he would have cut to his left and scored. But Curse saves the day. Penn State back down there inside. The Everly, the tailback, gets the call. And he's hit immediately at the line of scrimmage again. It's second and goal. McQuarrie to the corner. And too far in front of Show Brown, the tight end in motion on third and goal. McQuarrie looking left, pumps. Now trying to beat a defender to the goal line, and he won't get there. Well, thankfully for Penn State. Everly, the tailback. Play action. McQuarrie to the end zone, and it is intercepted. Mike Harris picks it off in the end zone for Florida. Watch Country Brown on the left side of your screen. The ball has to go to him now. Throw it hard. There's the lob. Look how much he leads him right into the next defender. That's a mistake by the quarterback. And the big redhead knows it or will hear about it when he gets to the sideline. And Florida's going to run out the clock and run to the far end to their locker room with the lead that they have had for much of this first half. It was all Gators early. Penn State came back with a field goal, but they missed down close twice. 14 to 3 at halftime. Take a look at the statistics at halftime, and they would bear out the fact that Florida would be leading this game. Look at that minus one yard rushing for Penn State in that first half, and that's not going to cut it. That's opponent it. 131 to 40 in the second half, so there's still something for Penn State. Kenny Watson, some indecision a couple yards deep, and now he brings it out and got to the 20-yard motion oh, man of the two. They'll hand it off to Mitchell. Got about five. Penn State's been horrible on third down today. They missed their last eight, and they are one for nine overall on those conversions. McQuarrie fires and it's caught. Nastasi with the catch and the first down out across 
the 40 to the 41 yard line so for the game i asked him how good he felt he said this is the best i felt all year you could see the coverage right there elijah williams was all over nastasi had that second down and 10 straight drop pump fakes to the right off the throw for kenny watson on a wide out screen and it works and watson got a first down and as Gary said, weary and All-American. They're tough to throw on. Here's a screen to Everly. Everly broke a tackle, puts his head down. And even though he was back, Everly behind clear, and he got a first down. First and 10 for the Nittany Lions. And here's Everly straight up the middle this time. And Chris Everly's there. Second down and four. Everly, this time the penetration gets to him. He's trying to bounce away, and he bounces all the way back longer. McQuarrie steps up in the pocket, has some time, a lot of time. And now he's going to run with it, and will he get there? Not quite. Oh, what a pile up. Everly, the tailback, in the eye, gets the call. Got the first down, broke through the wave, and inside the 20. Tico, a renewed sense of urgency on the Penn State offense is caught, and here's Everly again. He's bouncing over with the tacklers. But it's that third and long again, third and seven. McQuery slips it to Watson, and Watson. Nastassi got the hold down. The snap was a little wide, but the kick is up and good. And Penn State, had they done that a couple of times in the first half, look what the score would be. As it is, it's an eight-point game. They lost it on a turnover. What could have been for Penn State is still looming over their shoulder. Fred Taylor. I got it right at him. Here they come again. Left side, Taylor breaks outside across midfield, and Fred does it again. Second down and 16. Johnson goes out complete. Richardson makes the game with all the coaches. It was like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Penn State offense has come to life a little bit in this third quarter. Let's see what they can do with this drive from the 20. Everly, boy, he is one pinball runner, isn't he? And he goes out to the is in motion. Everly. And they seal off the blockers, and he goes for a first down across the 30. Covered all of that. He was the main guy. He's on the sideline now as McQuarrie throws. Complete. Schioli, did he catch it or not? Nope, they're going to say incomplete. So different. Third down and long. McQuarrie sets up quickly and throws. Complete, but it is about a yard short of the first down. He had 162 and four touchdowns against and Florida State. Toss it to him, and he goes straight ahead. And close to the first down mark. Short. Jim Nelson thinking about blitzing for Penn State. Here they come. Five wide receiver offense, and Johnson tucks it down. Oof. That's a big hit at the end of the game today. At any rate, it's Brindice now at the controls, and the toss to Taylor. Taylor heading for the corner, and fumbled. Florida covers it. Fumbled for a first down. Justin Blackley and the freshman the next. He'll give it off to Taylor. Red Taylor inside the 40. And out of the 39-yard line. Uh, Gained it offensively ever since. This guy has not been quiet today. Fred Taylor, though it's not a long run here. Dangerous. That could be when you pop the clavicle or separate the shoulder. Here's Palmer, the freshman, back. And he's throwing. And Jack Wes Green makes an acrobatic catch. Touchdown, Florida. We haven't heard from Quezzi since the first quarter. And he just made a loud bang here in the end zone. Off the arm of the true freshman who gets a pat on the back from Steve Spurrier. Fred. Do or die time almost, Gary, for the Penn State offense. Here's a counter to Everly. And Everly breaks the tackle. And he goes out for 12 or 13. Exactly. Injury that I had that severely hampered my career as a thrower. McQuarrie is severely hampered back at the 35. Ten to start as a true freshman. McQuarrie again, the heat coming from the corner. He rolls and throws on the run. Everly's down there. Three-man collision. It's broken up. First down for Florida. Green in motion. He's got two touchdown catches today. And here's been the offensive star, even though Jack Wes Green. Going up next. Fred Taylor spins away. He's over 200 now. And he's off to the races across midfield. And then back to... Brindice, play fake, rolls and throws, completes. McCaslin in the state, Florida with another first down. Fred Taylor with another run, but only a couple of the rushing category. Here's a toss to his replacement, Bo Carroll. 
And Carroll with fresh legs cut back against the green. Today, Iowa got beat up. Penn State's going to lose this one, it appears. As Taylor takes it wide. And, of course, Michigan had another first down. And it's Taylor on the cutback inside. That was interesting. Taylor. And he'll try the field goal of 26 yards. And he missed it to the left. Well, that sort of leaves the door open, but not the way Penn State's offense has been playing. <laughs> McQuarrie on first down. Pump makes and wants to go deep. He's got a man in the secondary. Just overshot. Teak is Pettigrew. What's going on here for their offense today? Here's a blitz. McQuarrie lets go of the ball, and it's intercepted. Oh, my. What Eli blitz. Williams shows why he's the other All-American-type corner on the opposite side of Weary. Two tight ends set, both wide outs to the top of your screen as Fred Taylor takes it. And uh, Mrs. Jackson, Mrs. Collins. It uh, shows you why we've got some uh, fine young men out on the field. They negated that game. And here's a draw play to Carroll. That'll be our third of three. They go for the block punt and didn't get there. And this time Florida is going to get down inside the five to down the Florida Gator team. McCleary had to let go of that one and nobody even near it to anybody who's ever won in postseason. Draw play. Oof, almost a safety there. Steer this thing and take it the distance. He's going to have to backpedal just to get to it, though. Back to the 48-yard line. Wesley looking for a block. Got one. Got two. Got the corner. The punter to beat. Flag down. And he goes down the sideline. Lateral. Oh, what a great play. And it's all going to come back, I think, with apparently a clip. Take a block in the back on the return. And they have pretty good success in this bowl game against the Big Ten. Carroll drops. Rich Gelber, the technical director. Today's game directed by Norm Sammet, produced by Kim Belton, and the coordinating producer of ABC's college football is Tony Tortorisi. That is going to do it for our season at our Comp USA Florida Citrus Bowl. <laughs> and Joe gets the visor, and you can see the friendship between those two guys and the mutual respect. They really enjoy each other's company. And, uh, <laughs> are having some fun as he wins the bowl game today, 21-6 is the final. Well, that's kind of a fun way to end it.